What is up everybody, it is MRBHD, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to play PS2 games on your PS3. As always, first you're going to need a couple of things, a USB flash drive formatted to FAT32, you're going to need a PS3 with hint installed on it, or custom firmware, that's optional. You're going to need a PC, and you're going to need the PS2 Classics GUI. So, if you don't have hint installed on your PS3, it's not jailbreak, but it's kind of kind of like it and uh, I have a tutorial for how to install HIN on my channel and I'll leave a link to that in the description. I also have a video called how to get games for free so if you guys are interested in that go check those videos out. I'll leave a link in the description of this video so um, basically what you want to do is download your game. Um, I'm going to download True Crime Streets of LA that's on PS2. I've already got it downloaded but um, don't worry about that. I'll, I'll get back to this in a minute. But um, basically, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to this website first. And I'll leave a link in the description to this website. Basically, this is a backwards compat compatibility list. And it teaches you which games work fine and which games don't really work at all. So I would definitely... Whatever game you're trying to get, definitely go and find the name of that game in this website right here and see if it has any problems. Um, I live in America, so mine is going to be in the middle. And if you live in other countries or something, it's going to be on the left or it's going to be on the right. But I'm here in America, so mine's going to be right in the middle, so... If you're in America, you can just look right in the middle with me. So, I'm looking for True Crime Streets of LA because that's the game I'm going to be doing in this video. I don't know if it works or not, but it's in the green, so it looks like it is playable. I mean, obviously, if it's in red, it's going to be unplayable or it's going to have major issues such as crashing or whatever. And not, it said none on the side on the notes, so that's pretty good too. So, it looks like... I picked a good choice for this tutorial video. So, you're also going to need this PS2 Classics GUI, like I said earlier. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description of the video as well. And you have to have this program on your computer in order to do this. And all you do is click download right here and it'll open up a new page. And then you just click download right there. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do it again. I'm just kind of telling y'all how to do it. So, yeah, it's really self-explanatory. Um, and basically, after you got your game downloaded, as always, it's going to come in a RAR file or a zip file, whatever you want to call it. So, like I say in all my videos... All you're going to do is right click it and click extract files. You're going to go to your downloads and you're going to find it and then right click it and click extract files. And if it doesn't say that, then you need WinRAR. So just do a quick Google search and download WinRAR and then just click OK. And what this is going to do is it's going to extract the WinRAR file, the RAR file, and it's going to extract it to a folder. So this this might take a while depending on how big your your um, game is and all that so the bigger the game the longer it's going to take i mean it's kind of obvious kind of common sense i guess but um this might take a while if you have a big game if you don't have a big game you know don't worry about it but um basically in this video what i'm going to be doing is converting iso files into pkg files that's basically in hindsight what i'm doing in this video so once you extracted that you're going to go up there and find the folder that you just extracted from that RAR file. And this is going to be your ISO right here. So, everything looks good so far. Now what you want to do, which this part right here is completely optional. You want to download some cover art. You do not have to do this. This part is 100% optional. In case you want to, in case you want your game to look good, I guess, make it a little bit better looking instead of just being blank. So, 
just download that and save it into the folder that you just extracted you need you need two different pictures you need one for the actual game and then one for the cover of the game so just download two pictures that you like of the game that you're doing and um once you get that downloaded then you can open up your ps2 classics gui and you can get to converting now over in the options section of this it should come default like this but if it doesn't just make yours match everything that you see on the screen but it should come just like this by default so usually you don't really have to mess with this so you can just go back but um basically you want to go to this little thing right here and you want to open up the actual game so you're gonna find your game in your downloads that the folder that you extracted you're gonna open up the folder and you're gonna find your ISO right there and you're gonna click open and you're gonna open it up in the PS2 classics GUI and um, you're basically gonna encrypt it just click encrypt and then click yes when this pops up and then let it let it do its thing mine was like over two gigabytes for the true crime streets of la game so it took quite a bit so i'm just gonna fast forward through a lot of this because i thought about cutting it and then just showing the end of it but i figured i'd rather just fast forward it so that way you guys can see the whole process so once it gets done all you're gonna do is click save or whatever and then it'll say okay so now that you've done the encrypt part now you're going to rename it it's going to look like this it's going to have the the name like twice and you're just going to rename it to this right here and it's going to be all capitals you're going to put i s o dot bin dot e n c exactly like you see on your screen just look at the screen and make sure it looks exactly like that. Otherwise, this probably won't work for you. So, once you do that, now you're going to make your PKG file. So, when you're going to click on this right here. And this is where you're going to add your cover art. I recently did a Simpsons game. That's why I have Simpsons right here. But yours will probably be default. So, just double click it and click your, your picture that you want. Click OK. Double click the outside to make the cover part of it. And then click your picture and click OK. And then this is what your game is going to look like when you're on your PS3. So if this is how you want it to look, you know, just click on this and then double click on this right here. It'll bring you to this menu right here. And um, a lot of this part, this is the part where it gets kind of confusing because a lot of times it should it says dot config at the end of this right here and you click open to configure it but for me it doesn't say that it gives me this error saying file not found so for me all i'm gonna do is click cancel and it's gonna create the pkg file anyways so as you can see on the right and that inside of that game folder that we extracted you can see that there's some temporary stuff going on right there i went ahead and fast forwarded this part because it took quite a while to do all this. But once it finishes, you just click OK right there. And now you have the you have a brand new PKG file right there. So um, you already if you already know about stuff like this, you already know what you're going to do next. You're going to open up your USB flash drive. And um, if you don't know. I always say this just in case, but you're going to right click on your flash drive, click properties and make sure that it's formatted to FAT32. If you already know this and you already know what it is, don't worry about that step. But um, basically you take that PKG file that you just made and you just drag it and drop it in onto your USB flash drive. And this part will probably take a little while as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward through this right here because I mean it does take a while if you got a big size game 
So once you got it on your flash drive, you are pretty much done. So you can just exit off of all this shit right here and eject it safely so that way you don't get no corrupted files and stuff. And um, basically that's it. You've successfully converted an ISO file into a PKG file. So now you just go to your PS3. So once you're on your PS3, you're going to enable HIN if you haven't already. Just click on Enable HIN and it will enable it. And then, if you already know how to install package files, then you already know what to do for the rest of the way. But for the people that don't, I'm going to be teaching you right here. You're just going to go to Package Manager or whatever that says. And then you're going to go to Install Package Files. And you're going to go down to Standard. And when you click on Standard, your game should be right there because it's on your USB. So... Just make sure you put it on the root directory of your USB flash drive. And then install that. And once that PKG file installs, you should have a brand new PS2 game on your PS3. So install complete. And then there is the brand new game right there. True Crime Streets of L.A. It was a PS2 game that I used to play all the time, but I haven't played it in years. So all you want to do to load it up is just click on it, and it'll start automatically. And, um, that's basically it. I mean, it'll load up the game. I'm going to give you a couple more tips. Um, when you do load the game, your PS3 controller will disconnect, so just... Press your home button and reconnect it. And also, if you notice, there's these black lines on the side. If you want to get rid of those, it's really easy. All you got to do is just change your, your settings. And you do that just by simply pressing the, the PS button, the home button, and then going down to other settings and then changing it to full screen. And then you can also turn the smoothing on, which makes it a lot smoother. And yeah, that's basically it. That's how you play PS2 games on PS3. But like I said in earlier, you guys need to check your backwards compatibility before you download a game and then convert it and then try to install it. Because if it doesn't work, then you realize you wasted all that time and all that energy downloading and extracting and installing converting and all that and instead of wasting time do it the right way first that way you don't have to do it again i mean i can't stress that enough but to quit the game you just press the ps button and quit game and then you'll have to reconnect your ps3 controller because for some reason it disconnects but and also, you will have to re-enable HIN because when you play a PS2 game and you get off of it, you have to re-enable HIN if you want to use HIN again. So, that's basically it for this video. I hope this video helped y'all out. So, a quick summary. Basically, all we did is we converted an ISO file, which is a PS2 game, and we converted it into a PK. PKG file which is a package file and we installed it on our PS3 using HIN we didn't even use jailbreak in this video we used HIN so basically that's what we did so we didn't use my usual method you know download extract copy and paste we had an extra step because we had to convert so it was download extract convert copy and paste there was an extra step involved to do this but we got it done and that's it for this video is 14 and a half minutes into this and um i hope you enjoyed the video hope it helped y'all if y'all have any problems just comment below i'll try my best to help y'all out um that's it for this video peace